Tonight I get to demo a new product, some new technology. It's gonna be great for paramotoring, gonna be great for paragliding. It's actually right here. And it's these glasses. The name of the company is Engo. The technology that they bring is a heads up display. If you can see inside the glasses, they communicate with Bluetooth from the glasses to either your phone or your watch. And then they'll create a heads up display in your right eye. You can use the app to change what's displayed. The way I've arranged it for tonight is I can see my elevation or altitude. I can see my speed and I can see the length of my flight. But for tonight, there's more things that we're gonna be testing. Are these comfortable to wear? Is the battery gonna hold up? Is it gonna be distracting? Or am I gonna feel dizzy from having a display and looking out at the landscape? So all those things we're gonna check out. Let's see what it's like tonight, guys. I'm gonna learn about this same time as you. Let's check it out. Here's the software I use, it's called Active Look. I just opened it. Now I'm gonna push this button here and I can see the, I can see the green light come on the camera. So let's see if it connects. It says connected. So I'll put on the glasses and it says they have 98% battery. Am I ready? So I'll press play and it's gonna say that it's starting the session. And it's telling me that my starting altitude is 545 feet. So let's just call it 500 during this flight. And you can also see the speed. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away now because for the rest of the time, I'll be able to use my active look. All right, guys, let me tell you what I'm seeing here. So already it's saying that I've traveled 1.5 miles. I'm at an altitude of 1,100, almost 1,200 feet. And so that means I'm probably about 600 feet above the ground right now. And my speed right now is 32.4 miles per hour. Look, I see another ultralight vehicle up here in the air. An ultralight in the US, guys, is an aircraft that can fly under FAR part 103. And I'm just gonna drop more altitude. I don't wanna be too close to that person. Uh, part 103 says that you have to carry less than five gallons of fuel and you have to weigh less than 254 pounds, okay? It's also a single occupant uh, aircraft. We fall into that category, for example, my rig right here, my motor and frame weighs about 55 or 60 pounds with no fuel. Going 27 miles per hour. And now I'm down to 580 feet. Now I said that I wanted to stay away from that ultralight. The reason I want to stay away from that ultralight is that he's spinning a propeller that creates a weight. We expect that the weight is going to dissipate as it falls and travels with the wind. Okay? So by the time it gets down here, it should have very little impact. I would say so far these are working wonderfully. I mean, I can see I've traveled now 3.75 miles. I'm at 620 feet above sea level and I'm traveling at 25 miles per hour. So we often use smoke like this to determine the wind direction. The same guy, I think he wants to fly near me, you know? And it's like, I don't want to be by that propeller. Always just feather that gas, make sure that you're pulling fuel up the fuel line. I would say this, in order for this to be really valuable to me, I'd want to see the feet above the ground rather than above sea level. And I'm not saying that the hardware makers have to figure out how to do that. I just would say they should partner with a they should partner with someone like Gaggle or Fly Sky High, which are two apps on the phone that show me my altitude and all kinds of other cool stuff. I mean, they, they show similar stuff, like how far I've traveled, how long I've been using the app, uh, my speed, and also how far I am to get back to my landing zone. The other people who use this headset are runners, cyclists, and other 
let's say, uh, mixed sports, triathlons. When I'm flying this close to the ground, I can tell, like, I'm over these trees, which are 70 or 80 feet tall, so I can tell my elevation. It's more important to me when I'm doing a long cross-country flight and I'm flying, let's say, two or 3,000 feet above the ground. I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like inside the glasses in the heads-up display. A little bit difficult to see. Just imagine what we were seeing in that promotional material from Ingo. Messing around too much up here. But I did want to see if I could just get a little image of what it looks like inside these glasses. It is pretty cool, I gotta admit. I like it. I mean, it's just a taste of the future. It could get better. You know what I mean? But guys, time to land. And let's see if we can get it in that bullseye tonight. I just mowed that the other day. Okay. Looking pretty good. Kill it. Begin to flare. That was a little bit early. Any questions, comments you have about the glasses, the app, anything else, drop it down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Do I think this is going to change the game with this product? Not sure, but I think it's a step in the right direction. And I can actually imagine a time where we have an augmented reality. Maybe you're flying above and you can actually see labels on streets or highways or buildings or towns that you're looking down at. You never know what we'll see in the future. But the sooner people put hardware out like this, the sooner we'll have developers who are willing to create really innovative solutions, software, apps. And so I want to support that, show these guys, hey, this is something I'm interested in. This product right here retails for over $300 at a discount code, so I got right about $300. And they do stand behind the product. I can return it for up to 30 days if I'm not satisfied in any way. So 